Heat race number one for the Woody's Auto Strictly Stocks. Ten laps the distance, set to go green. Chris Kingsley on the inside in the 68, the 1% of Michelle Fishbansky outside. Chief starter Mike Walker set to unleash the green. Ten laps the distance, heat race number one is underway. Kingsley gets the jump in car 68 on the bottom side on Fishpansky. Mike Scott in the 66S after a week off, gonna follow through. Now at the back of the field, Steve Belanger is around in the 82X. He's gonna keep it going and we're gonna stay green. How about this? Looks like he has a flat left rear tire in the 82X car. Not sure if he understands what's going on. He is sideways around the racetrack. Belanger trying to get that car limped back to pit road. Chief starter Mike Walker. Tells him to head to the pit area, and they're still racing. Now Belanger is sitting in the racetrack. Now he goes up the racetrack. Here come the leaders down the back straightaway. What's going to happen here? This could get very interesting. Now we got Michelle Vishpansky in the 1% and Culleton around. And the caution flag will fly. Not sure what happened there. I was watching the 82X of Belanger when the 1% and the 42 went around. They're both back underway. They'll rejoin the tail end of the field. Wasting any time tonight. Fishpansky's going to catch back up. Two laps are in the record books. Kingsley in the 68 was under heavy pressure from Mike Scott that last time. Can Scott mount anything from the outside groove in car 66? That's we'll find out here. Green flag set to fly. Woody's auto strictly stock heat race. Number one, back to green. That time at the line, a nice clean start. But Scott on the outside groove trying to inch in front. Kingsley slows down the momentum. In car number 68 and gets back to the lead. Chris Kingsley using the bottom side to his advantage and gets back to the lead. He's going to lead lap number three. That time at the line, Kingsley sideways into turns one and two. Dirt tracking it, but hangs onto it. A nice save for Kingsley and hangs on the lead. Mike Scott in car 66S. Let Kingsley collect that car instead of driving right through him. A nice move by Scott and settles into the second spot. Third spot is Bobby Bouchard. Fourth spot is Brett the Jet Culleton and the gentleman Jerry LePage rounds out the top five. Here comes Mike Scott now one more time. This time going to look low on Kingsley and gets into Kingsley and sends it around. And Kingsley stays straight and so does Mike Scott. Wow, what a save that was by Scott. At the halfway mark, this one is out of control right now. Kingsley and Scott putting on a damage plan at the front of the Woody's Auto Strictly Stock main event. The 66 acid is hanging on to the lead right now. Bouchard into the second spot, Collins to third. Fourth is the 31 under LePage, and the 1% of Fishbansky rounds out your top five. Tough break for Kingsley, but he was able to keep the car straight, and not much damage in car number 68 at the back of the pack. Seven laps in the record books that time for your leader, Mike Scott, in car 66S. Bouchard doing a nice job sitting in the second spot in car number 97. Collins trying to reel him in now. This time by two laps to go for your leader, the 66S Hampton, New Hampshire driver, Mike Scott. Battle is for the second spot now. Brett the Jet Culleton trying to win it for his sponsor tonight, Woody's Auto Repair. In car 42, working on Bobby Bouchard for the second spot. White flag in the air. Mike Scott is hooked up once again tonight in car 66S. That time, Culleton through the dirt and tries getting underneath Bouchard. They make a little bit of contact through turns one and two. Colleton has the advantage down low, down the back straightaway. Checkered flag in the air. Heat race number one is going to fly for car 66S. Mike Scott, battle for the second spot at the line. It's going to go to Rick Colleton in the 42. Bouchard third, Jerry LePage fourth, and the 1% of Fishpansky. Round out your top five. Now Keith Jones. Whoa. Jones putting on a little thrill show, Joey Chitwood style, at the end of heat race number one. He's back underway in the 66 car. No worse for the wear for Keith Jones. A little bit of dirt at the exit of turn number four. That needs to be cleaned up real quick. Then we'll roll out heat race number two for the Woody's Auto Strictly Sucks. Green flag set to fly. 
Woody's Auto Strictly Stock Heat Race number two is underway. 10 laps to distance, John Cashman gets the jump on Oscar Leclerc. Leclerc trying to work the inside groove now down the back straightaway. Here comes Mike Williams. Williams up high. Now Steve Duvenek in the 78D jets to the bottom side of Leclerc. Leclerc now goes up the racetrack. He's going to lose the third spot to the 78D of Duvenek. Now Leclerc dives to the bottom side. Tim Boyle is there. Boyle sticks his nose in in car number 90 and takes over the fourth spot. Leclerc trying to find the handle in car number 45. Losing spots every lap. Now Joey the Jet Ventrilo is going to go by in the eight ball as well as Erickson in car 22. Erickson by Leclerc. Leclerc now settles into the spot further back in the pack. Up front, John Cashman in car number 78 out of Danbridge, Massachusetts has the lead. Mike Williams sits second. Third is Duvenet. Fourth is Tim Boyle and Ventrilo rounds out your top five. Keep an eye on the 22 car of Erickson now. Going to go to work on the eight ball of Ventrilo. Erickson thought about going low down the back straightaway. Had to back out of it as he does not have the position down the back stretch. Mike Walker warning racing Jason Ryan in car number 82. Playing a little rough with Bill Helliwell in the 79X. Tim Boyle a little bit loose that time in car number 90 down the back straightaway. Halfway home this time by five down, five to go for your leader. Car number 78, John Cashman. Keep an eye on the battle from fourth on back. Starting to heat up just a little bit. Ventrilo and Erickson that time made a little bit of contact down the front straightaway. Erickson trying to work the outside of Ventrilo, but Ventrilo is making it really hard for him to find room up top. That time Erickson got the lane he needed in car number 22, and he's going to work the outside and move into the fifth spot. Up front, John Cashman starting to run away with heat race number two. Williams sits in the second spot. Dufinet right there in the third spot. Erickson now going to start to go to work on the 90 of Tim Boyle. This time by two laps remain for your leader, car number 78, John Cashman. Erickson looked low on Boyle that time. Boyle slammed the door shut through turns three and four. Now Erickson has the bottom side working for him. Austin Erickson is going to be the man to watch in the Woody's Furious 40 later on tonight in car number 22. White flag in the air for your leader, John Cashman. Cashman looks pretty stout in heat race number two for the Woody's Auto Strictly. Dufinet trying to find a way by Mike Williams at the moment, unable to do so. Checkered flag in the air this time by heat race number two. It's going to go to John Cashman. Second will go to Mike Williams. Third to Dufinet. Fourth to Erickson. And rounding out your top five will be the 90 of Tim Boyle. So a nice job for John Cashman in car 78. He collects the checkered flag in heat race number two. Strictly Stocks will be back for their big race of the season, the Woody's Auto Furious 40. 40 lap main event later on in the evening. Super Modifieds up next for their heat races. The McClellan Metal Finishing Dashes.